Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. And today we're tasting Southern Tier Brewing Company Imperial Pumpkin Stout. It's an 8.6% alcohol by volume, and they're out of Lakewood, New York. Yeah. So please stick around. But wait, it's called Warlock. And you mm -hmm. kind of look like Doro Pesh. <laughs> <laughs> so please stick around. It's going to be fun. Music. This bad boy open. I love that warlock. It's yeah. got uh, it's got little pumpkins on the side and purple and it. black. This is gonna be great. Yeah. I'm really looking this forward to this. This had my name all over it. Absolutely. And it's that time of the year. We yeah. got the we have the pumpkin beers coming out. We have the uh, Halloween coming up, fall first. We have the Oktoberfest beers coming yeah, up. Yeah, the Oktoberfest, the Marksons and the all those yummy amber beers. So I buy up. anyone that's Oktoberfest or Halloween, I buy them all. Ooh, nice dark color to yeah. it. That's like a dark cola. Oh like yeah. Coca-Cola. All right. Let's... So let's give this a sniffaroo. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, it this... smells like coffee and cola. And I do yeah. taste, I, I don't, to don't taste yet. And I do smell the pumpkin spice. I can yeah. smell it. Yeah, it is rather spicy. It's, uh, it smells very nice. Mm, it smells very seasonal. Give it a taste? Let's get, wait. Cheers. Cheers. That's got a ton of flavor. Yeah, I'm getting getting the pumpkin. I'm getting coffee. Mm. The mouthfeel is medium to heavy, actually. Mm, mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice change from uh, some of the beers we've had lately. I haven't had too much of a heavy one like that. Yeah, very true. Nice. It is. I even get a slight cola flavor as well from it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. A lot of smoky. Yeah, it's not barrel aged, and it's probably the spices in there. That's yeah, got a nice pumpkin spice to it. Nutmeg, a little clove, maybe cinnamon. All the good stuff, oh, pumpkin. All the, all the stuff you love about fall. Now yeah. she is a fall winter person and I am a spring summer person. I like it hot. Not me. And uh wow, this is very tasty. I would definitely get more of these when I see them. Yeah, I even oddly enough, it, and it's not sweet. Lots of times how you get from beers like this, and and I'm getting just a touch of bitterness yeah. at the end on the finish. Mm -hmm. It's opening up more and more as well. Yeah. Yeah, the moors were letting it sit. Yeah, yeah and I like it, the moors. <laughs> yeah, the that's more. what's nice with beers like this, how you can let it uh, go to room temperature and it just, it's a different beer, but yeah. yet so good and so flavorful. Mm -hmm. Or IPAs, you want them, you want those cold. Yeah, yeah. Beans, you can let them get more room temperature and just sit and sit. If you're them. lighter. When you're watching a good movie or a good horror good movie horror at movie. Halloween time. And you can just as if, on it. as if we just watch horror movies at Halloween time. Yes, we watch them all year round. <laughs> That's all the time we watch horror My movies. My favorite. And on the tasting meter, which is a one through five. On the tasting meter of one through five, I would give this bad boy a 4.4. 4. And I would go 4.5. And I like the fact that it's called the Warlock. I just found it interesting that the band, the metal band Warlock, yeah. had a female, a female singer. singer kind of and a great mind. female singer, Doro. Yeah, Doro, Doro Pesh. To go along with Witches and Warlocks, we're going to be going to Salem. Yeah. Salem, Massachusetts In next month. And we will be doing some from breweries there, so keep your eyes peeled and you'll get to see a little of the town too. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun checking that out. First time, bucket list, we'll be there. And if you like this sort of content, fun beer reviews, and we've been visiting breweries as well, yeah. talking about breweries. And this the is people the first involved, home one we've done in a while. Yeah, but the people involved in the breweries, talking to the owners and brewers and the beer tenders, that's uh, been a lot of fun and really interesting. Yeah. But please hit the like button. Like and subscribe <laughs> and set your bell so you don't miss a Heavy Metal Beer Club show. And if you get tired of saying Heavy Metal Beer Club, now we're starting to say HMBC. So HMBC, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Cheers to you. Cheers. Stay safe, drink responsibly, and, and don't, don't forget, forget to stay metal. She's already excited in July. She's counting down the days to Halloween, and yeah. I just tell her, please don't take away my I summer. I like all the little cartoons and memes where it says, 
I'm the person at uh, the Dollar General or at TJ Maxx saying, "Where's you don't have enough Halloween things out and it's only August. That's me. Little All things pumpkin, pumpkin spice coming your way. Oh, let me put like my it or not. <laughs>